Yeah, I'm freaking out. We got one week to go, and I'm freaking out. Hey, hey. <laughs> Relax, Curtis. Isn't this like your third wedding? Yeah, but Charlene said it's definitely gonna be my last, one way or the other. <laughs> I gotta tip my hat to you, man, getting married again. I, I don't want to say marriage is like jail, but yeah, you lose all your freedom, somebody's screaming at you constantly, and at the end of the day, you realize I should've just hooked up with a dude. <laughs> my best man, ladies and gentlemen. My boyfriend, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bye. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Hey, man, how we doing on the uh, groomsman checklist? Are you kidding me? We are on it. We got uh, tuxes rented, boutonnieres, bootened. <laughs> Look who's here, it's my sister Rachel. Oh, wow, I figured, you know, because the weatherman said it was cloudy with a chance of bitchy. Uh, since Rachel is a professional event planner, she has generously offered to help me with Charlene and Curtis's wedding, even though I didn't ask her. Uh, stop thanking me. Knowing it's been done right is thanks enough. Well, okay. Um, Curtis, uh, the centerpieces are ready to be picked up. They're kind of heavy, though. The flowers are in these things that look like giant bird baths. Wait, what are they? Giant bird baths. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, can we use your van, Gary? Of course you can. But hey, look, I have uh, an exhaust leak. I think the carbon monoxide might kill the flowers. Flowers? What about us? Uh, well, my window goes down. You know what? I'll wake you up when we get there. <laughs> so, Rachel. I haven't seen you since our little indiscretion at Gary and Allison's wedding. While you're in town, if you need someone to show you the sights. I grew up here. I mean the new sights. <laughs> like the expanded 60 freeway. Which, quite frankly, I'm ambivalent about. I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> ambivalent doesn't mean against. It means torn between two opposites. <sighs> I see you're just as much of a controlling bald buster as you always were. <laughs> and you're still a big mess of dumb stuffed in a knockoff jeans. Kiss me. Try and stop me. <laughs> with the seat and chart. Okay, you put this guy at a table with three different women he slept with. <laughs> this chick while he was married to this chick while he was paying tuition for this sluts kid at UC Irvine. <laughs> Can we just move him to, I don't know, table seven? Uh, well, well, you told me that Curtis's grandma weighed 300 pounds. She is table seven. Oh. Hey. Hey. Allison, uh, Curtis is putting the centerpieces out in the backyard. Why is this table wrapped up? Oh, I'm shipping it to my parents for the new condo in Palm Springs. What? Yeah. The table I designed and paid for? The table we had all our family meals around? I really love this table. Yeah, they're doing like a Southwest theme? I think it's gonna look great. Allison, this is the last straw. You got every valuable thing we owned in the divorce. What am I left with? Crappy furniture? What, broken down appliances? Look, next time you want to give something away, you gotta run it by me first, that's it. Gary, we both signed off on the terms of the divorce. If the table meant that much to you, you should have fought for it then. Besides, you shouldn't have hired one of your surfing buddies to represent you. I had to hire Goose. The guy's like a brother to me. Not like a brother you're related to, just a brother that gets you high a lot. Well, maybe you would have done better with a lawyer who didn't say not cool when he meant to say, I object. All right. You know what? I stand by my lawyer, and I stand by his closing argument when he told the judge that you're bogarting all my stuff. <laughs> I'm sick of your negative vibes. You're totally bumming me out. Hey, Goose. What's, uh, what's going on? You got a big legal case going on? Or? Nah, surf report. <laughs> Malibu's blown out and Trestles is flat. Look, can I, uh... Okay, listen. Allison's trying to give away a table that I paid for. Don't I have any rights here? Doubtful. <laughs> Her lawyer pretty much crushed it. But, uh, you know what we could do? We could file a motion claiming the table is undervalued and the issue needs to be re-examined. <laughs> I'm gonna call the county clerk, set up an appointment. Wow, look at you, Goose. Undervalued, re-examined, I'm impressed. <laughs> yes, case number 19372561, Brooks. Uh-huh, right, really, uh-huh, right, really. Okay, Mahala. 
<laughs> We're not going to be able to file that motion, bud. What? That's unbelievable. Great. So Allison just gets to do whatever she wants? Not exactly. Hang on a sec. I might need some medicine for this. <laughs> See, there's an inbox at the county clerk's office where the lawyers drop off divorce agreements to be processed. The clerks enter it into what's called a register of actions, and then we pick it up. So? Well, let's say a lawyer was running a little late for his drum circle at Venice Beach <laughs> and accidentally picked it up before they entered it. Then, long story short, the table's still yours. Awesome. Because you and Allison are still married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and Mitch are still at it? He's my crowning masterpiece. <laughs> Mitchell? Oh my gosh, you've turned my brother into Ryan Seacrest. I know, right? I finally have a boyfriend who everyone will think is gay. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Hey, Rachel. Hey. Uh, hey, Gail, you ready to go pick up those rings? Four days to go. Hold on a second. You guys are never going to believe this. My attorney totally screwed up my divorce settlement. I'm still married to Allison. What? Oh, my God. Yeah. Now I got to get divorced all over again. That'll be fun. Well, hey, since you get a do-over, see if you can get your deer antler coat rack back. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I know. That proud beast could hold, like, 20 coats. No, I mean, I get to get divorced all over again. Except this time I can do it right. I can get my fair share. I can really stick it to Allison with a real attorney, one that doesn't walk into court with a cockatiel on his shoulder. <laughs> when I'm done, Allison won't know what hit her. Yeah, if you want to end up with even less than you have now. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, no one's tougher in a fight than Allison. But if you butter her up, become the man she always wanted you to be, instead... Oh, when it comes time to negotiate, she'll be feeling a whole lot more generous. Do you really think this could work? Yes, yes. And by the time she figures out you're still married, you'll already be on her good side. You can have your pick of all the stuff you lost. All right, but whatever happens, do not tell Charlene, all right? She is super religious, and she would not look kindly on my married best man having a girlfriend. Okay, I won't tell your fiancé, and I won't tell my wife. What am I supposed to tell my girlfriend? <laughs> oh, I would not let Sasha know. No. <laughs> I mean, it was a miracle you landed her in the first place. <laughs> You're like the Captain Sullenberger of booty. <laughs> Okay, what in God's name are those? Oh, uh, Charlene requested two giant gold interlocking seas to hang above the altar to represent Curtis and Charlene's everlasting intertwinement. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> those are going nowhere. Hey, you know what, Rachel? Why don't you give it a rest? Okay, Allison is really busting her butt to make this a nice event, and all you do is riot her. Give her a break. Go, go in the house. Do something else. Call the dove guy. See if he's got any doves strong enough that can drag a banner. Just go. <laughs> Wow. What? I've been asking you for 20 years to take my side with her, and you just did it. Did I? Well, time to hang the lights. <laughs> okay, what are you up to, Gary? Why, why, why are you being so nice to me? What? Am I? Yeah. It's just, uh, it's my best friend's wedding, you know? I just want to make sure it goes off without a hitch, that's all. Huh. And? All right, I'm gonna come clean. All this wedding stuff the past week has really got me thinking that uh, I really could have been a better husband to you. Am I being recorded? <laughs> Just some kind of bachelor party gag and you need a cheap stripper, right? No. Huh? no, I've just really been doing a lot of thinking about us and I could have done a lot of things differently. I don't think you could have said anything sweeter. We are actually looking for a cheap stripper, but um, you're such a sexy little tramp. The second you started shaking it, the guys would drop dead. Oh, Gary. 
I gotta tell you, Mitch, your plan is working perfectly, okay? The nicer I am to Allison, she's like putty in my hands. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up with stuff that she bought after the divorce. <laughs> Just be careful that the guilt doesn't start creeping in at the last minute, because you're almost there. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm pumicing my heels. I haven't heard from Rachel in three days, all right? I'm worried that I haven't cleaned up my act enough for her. I told you not to get involved with Rachel. I've seen her do this to guys before. She fixes you up like you're some kind of project, and then she gets bored when there's nothing left for her to do. Don't you say that. <laughs> she loves me. Mitch, you cleaned up your act too fast. She's gone, Mitchell. <laughs> that can't be true. I waxed everything for that woman. I'm like a dolphin with eyebrows. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, wow, thank you. What a nice welcome. Um, I wanted your opinion on dresses for the wedding. I've called you like ten times. Oh, sorry. I've been really busy with Allison. Yeah, you've spent every night this week with her. You'd think you guys were still married. <laughs> Well, you're funny, but, uh... Hey, look, I'm here now. You have my undivided attention. Let's look at some dresses. Come on. Okay, so this first one, it might be a little cocktail-y, but uh, I'm thinking uh, because the wedding on. is at two, it's... One, one second. This is Allison. I gotta see what she wants. Of course. All right. Of course. But, uh, Allie, uh, hold on a second, okay? Look, um, Sasha, I, I know I've been spending a lot of time with Allison, but it's only for a couple more days, and it's for a good reason, I promise, okay? It's just... This is the first wedding we're going to together, and it's kind of a big deal to me. And you're spending every waking minute with your ex-wife. I know, but it's almost over. Just trust me, okay? Please? All right. Okay. Well, I'll see you at the wedding tomorrow. Okay. And I'll let you know what I'm planning on wearing so I don't clash with your cummerbund. Don't worry about it. As long as it's in the green family and has lightning bolts, we'll be good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Allison, what's up? Oh, my God, are you serious? Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, hey, what's the situation? Okay, Curtis is freaking out. He's in the living room threatening to call Charlene and tell her the wedding is off. Okay, looks like we got ourselves the same situation we had when Tom almost ate his turtle. Okay. <laughs> we'll handle it the same way. I'll go in first, nice and easy. If he makes a move for the redial button, I'll take him down, you get the phone. Got it. <clears throat> hey, buddy. <laughs> Not another step, Gary. Any closer, I'm gonna hit this speed dial button. It's all over, you understand? Curtis, why don't you give me the phone and then we can talk? What do I get? I give you the phone, I need something in return. That's how we're gonna play it. What you get, Curtis, is my word that after you give me the phone and we talk a little bit, I might give you the phone back. Give me the phone, Curtis. It's okay. There you go. There you go. All right, come on, get out of here. Come on, get out of here. I'm tired, guys. I'm so tired. Right, come on, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, man, come on. My first marriage was a failure. My second marriage was a failure. How, how, how do I think I'm going to make this one work? Well, do you love her? Yes, I do. Okay. And not just because of that body and when she gets everything in motion and this is going this way and that's going that way. <laughs> Curtis, do you want to spend the rest of your life with Charlene? Okay, then you have to marry her, and you, you work through the rough patches together. Curtis, that's marriage. Well, what do you guys know? You split up. <laughs> yeah, we did split up. You want to know why? Because I got lazy, Curtis. Yeah, you did. You got lazy. And I... <laughs> I got a little bitchy. So bitchy. <laughs> Look, who knows if you and Charlene are going to work out, but if you love each other, you got to give it a shot. That's what life's about, my man. All right, all right. Well, get, get, go, get, give me the phone back. What do you use it for? I'm going to call Charlene and tell her I love her. All right, brother. Yeah. All right. And hopefully she'll tell me to get my skinny ass back home for some of that good stuff. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You did great. Nice work, Gear. Nice work yourself. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the wedding is back on. Now the only other potential disaster is their first dance, which is to my humps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And there's choreography. It's gonna make our first dance look like Swan Lake. <clears throat> what are you talking about? We nailed our first dance. No one has ever danced to True by Spandau Ballet the way I did. Please, Gary, you spent more time on my feet than I did on my back that night. 
Let me tell you something. It's time to put this tall tale to bed. You got a dance floor in your backyard? Let's use it. Are you serving me? Consider yourself served. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Not bad, Gary. Maybe I was the problem. Yeah, well, you did have four sea breezes that night. So. <laughs> I would have had five, but I was pregnant with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, I appreciate you helping me out this week. It's actually been kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, look, um, I've been thinking, Gary, I, d I hate that you think of me as the person who took everything. You know, I mean, when we got divorced, we were angry. But things have changed. Maybe we should talk about you getting some of those things back, starting with the table. Wow. Wow. Yeah, if you... St you're you're going to give me the table back? Yeah, yeah, if you still want it. Uh... I, I don't, actually. Oh. So, I mean, I, I, I did, but just I, um, I don't know. I just think differently about it now. You know, Allie, this is, <clears throat> this is the part of the song where you and I always, yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We're still married. <laughs> Like, in your mind? No. <laughs> My divorce attorney, Goose, he completely screwed up. He never filed the proper paperwork in the county clerk's office. You and I are still married. What? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what is going on? I was just being nice to you so when we got divorced again, I could get more of my stuff back, okay? Oh, my God, you've been scamming me. I'm such an idiot. Oh. I wa hey, I was scamming you, was, but now I, I don't know, I, I, I feel different. I, I, I feel a connection with you. Something, something's changed. You know, the sad thing is, nothing has changed. You're still an ass. <laughs> All right, three, three minutes to go. Hey, man, thanks. Thanks for last night. Oh, yeah, no problem. I just feel terrible about what I did to Allison. My God, marriage is hell. Hey, dude. Oh, your marriage will be great. <laughs> Let's get this party started! <laughs> Woo! Hey, I got nowhere to be and no one to answer to. <laughs> no one at all. <laughs> Mitch, you are drunk. Your face is drunk. All right, easy, 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 easy now. Come on, look. All right, we got about a minute left. Has anyone seen Sasha? No, but if Charlene walks down this aisle and everybody isn't in their seats, I'm going to be spending my honeymoon at a carnival exhibit as the amazing assless man. <laughs> Mitch, what is going on? You smell like the spit bucket at a vineyard. You haven't showered, you've got crumbs on your shirt. It's like I'm dating Nick Nolte. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a long talk later. All right, come on, let's get you cleaned up. I'm gonna have to start over completely. Go. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, uh, we're just about ready. Okay, okay. And just so I know for later, where's the bar? Oh, uh, there is no bar. What do you mean there's no bar? Uh, well, the bride doesn't drink. Really? Yeah. Look at the bridesmaids' dresses. You're trying to tell me she wasn't hammered when she picked those? Yeah. Allison, I'm sorry. You're sorry? sorry. Really? We're, what, what could you cash that in for, Gary? Maybe a pool table, a couple chairs? Guys, the bride is coming. Can we lock this down, please? Look. Allison, look, I should not have done what I did last night. I'm really sorry, but I really felt something deep inside me, and I know you felt something, too. Look, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's not the point, Gary. So you did feel something. I keep carrying on about all the things that I lost. I'm not concentrating on what I really lost, and I, I, I lost you. And I just, I don't know, I think it's amazing that you and I are still married. What? Hold on, Curtis! You almost said, baby. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> an adult he's just a married man with a girlfriend <laughs> this is my wedding day curtis 
and I will not have my future husband have a cheater for a best man. If he is not gone in three seconds, I will be. Fine. You know what? I'll just go. Derek, don't move. He, he's my best friend. He's not leaving. Huh. I'm so sorry. I'm late. Huge traffic jam. <laughs> well, then I'm leaving. Oh. Because I was late? <laughs> No, because Curtis's quote unquote best man is an adulterer. Gary? No, he no, he's not. We're not married. Not to you, stupid. He's still married to Allison. Oh, wait. Oh. Baby, come on! <laughs> Sasha, look, I, I'm really sorry. I, I just found out like a week ago. It was a clerical error. Okay. So, what happens now? You, you're going to get divorced again, right? Right? Uh... Gary! Gary? Mm.